Here's a quick tutorial on how to achieve this effect using some simple AI tools and Unreal Engine 5. In mid-journey, I will type slash imagine a portrait of the Joker. And then out of the four generated images, I'll select the top left one, and then I'll save that to my desktop. And this is the final version, what mid-journey gave me. And from here, I go to caber.ai, I click create video, I upload my Joker image here, I go continue to prompt, and some text here will be pre-filled for you. The only thing you have to do is in the style of, I'll do a comic book. And then you go to video settings. And here you can select the video duration. I'm gonna do six seconds. And then you can choose camera movement. I'm gonna do rotate clockwise. And then show initial image in the first frame. Yes, please. And this evolve slider here decides how ball steep the AI is gonna go crazy on your video. So the higher the slide, the crazier the video will get. And then go to go to preview frames. And then you can choose one of these four frames, whichever you think looks the best. I'm gonna choose the top left one. And then you press create video. So once it's done, you can check out the final results. And as you can see, it's taking the image and rotating it clockwise. Then you can download the video. Now we have both the video and the image on our desktop. Open up your Unreal Engine 5 project, drag your image to the content browser, it will create a texture for you and then drag that texture upon any surface. Check out my previous tutorial if you want to know how to do this Unreal Engine 5 project. And now I add just a little bit of rotating movement that is similar to the AI video that we just generated. And then open up your preferred video editing software, I've used CapCut here because it's free. And I've dragged in the Unreal Engine 5 clip, and then I'll add our generated AI clip from Kaber, and I'll put them close to each other. And from this point on, you have creative freedom of doing whatever transition you would like. So in my case, I'm going to shorten the videos a little bit so they match better. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the Joker's face. And then I'll add a transition and uh, you could do like a zoom in transition, for example, like this. If you want to add something extra to that, you could do like a color glitch. It will turn out like this and you can undo it with control Z and then add whatever transitions you want to do. So that's basically it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and have a good day.